Hey guys, welcome to Park Notes. I'm Parker, and in this video, I'm going to lay out two distinct ways to use commonplace books. The first way is to use a commonplace book as a collection of quotes. And the second way to use a commonplace book is a collection of ideas. You might decide that both are good for you. I have, I love commonplace books, and I'm always collecting more and more and more and more to my wife's chagrin. In order for you to know which one's best for you, we gotta get clear on what these two mean. Now, once we get clear on this, you can start forming your own intellectual habits. So first I'll explain what a commonplace book is, then I'll lay out the distinction between the two, and then I'll go over a couple ways that I use each one of them. So stay tuned to the end to find which method is best for you. Let's jump in. So I first heard about commonplace books in reference to people like Puritans who would take theological quotes and put them in one common place for them to reflect on. So instead of having to go through all their books and find their favorite quotes in order to meditate and ruminate on, they would put them all in one common place. And then they could make copies of this and share it with other Puritans, with other thinkers. I also heard about astronomers doing this. For those familiar with theology, you'll think of Peter Lombard and his sentences, where he's just collecting sentences, quotes from a lot of famous church fathers and theologians throughout history and putting them in one place for people to study. So that's the more old school view of a commonplace book. It's a commonplace for quotes. Now today I call these my compendiums. A compendium is just a collection of concise but detailed information about a particular subject. And it's especially in a book or a publication. So I'm not publishing these, but to distinguish them from my other commonplace books, I call these my compendiums. I've been doing these for a long time now, this one dates all the way back to 2015. I've got some quotes from St. Augustine's Confessions in here. I was doing a lot of theology in this commonplace book, in this compendium. So I used to speak a lot more than I do now, and I would collect my favorite quotes to incorporate deep, philosophical, theological, poignant, wise statements. I would collect them into a commonplace, into my compendium, in order to use and utilize when I needed to. A compendium it's super good for people who do a lot of public speaking. If you are constantly crafting talks, lectures, sermons, then you need a compendium. You need a place for all your favorite quotes. So you don't have to go and continually find them in all your books. Put it in one spot, a compendium, a common place for quotes. So even though I don't use my theology compendium all that often anymore, I still have other compendiums, which I use on a daily basis. This is my wisdom compendium. And I'm creating this for, my, for myself and also for my children. I'm collecting wise statements from sci-fi books, from the book of Proverbs, from uh, the dictionary of Proverbs. I'm looking for wisdom wherever I can find it. I'm collecting it in this compendium. I'm going to pass it on to someone else, to my kids and my kids' kids, hopefully. I also have a compendium for the philosophy of mind. I want to be a philosopher of mind. I want to be an expert in this field. And so I've taken my favorite quotes, my favorite arguments from my favorite thinkers in the philosophy of mind and from maybe not my favorite thinkers, but thinkers I need to know if I'm going to be an expert in this field. And I put their arguments in here so I can reflect on them before bed. I want to become an expert in this field. I need to study the field well. I need to know what an expert ought to know in this field. And I want to know more. I want to be like top level. So I write down quotes. I write down arguments. I write down phrases that I should know. And I continually reflect on them, especially before bed, to get them in there. So here's an entry from Jay Guan Kim's Philosophy of Mind on Turing machines. Machine consciousness, machine functionalism is a popular theory of mind, especially in AI circles. And so I want to become an expert on it. I disagree with it. I want to know arguments against it, but I want to know arguments for it as well. If I'm going to be an expert philosopher of mind, then this Philosophy of Mind compendium is definitely going to be helpful. As I said, I want to get into Philosophy of Mind, Philosophy of Artificial Intelligence, so I've also created a compendium on artificial intelligence. Here I have myself, my Android sticker from my podcast. I have Infinity Ultron. I have Master Control from the first Tron. And this is a Murdy Creative. So this is a Murdy Creative leather cover on a Loic term, 1917. This last one was a Saddleback on a Loic term, 1917. I don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to hawk all this stuff to you guys. As I think of it, I'll bring up the brands and stuff for you. So this is the first way. This is a commonplace as a commonplace for quotes, a compendium where you store your quotes in order to reflect on them, to meditate, to ruminate on, to make these quotes become part of you. Whether you're using them for speeches or using them like my wisdom compendium to just become a wise person. The second way to use a commonplace book is a commonplace for ideas. 
So instead of just putting down quotes in here, I'm gonna put down quotes that I enjoy, that they are thought provoking, but I'm also gonna give my thoughts on those quotes. So here I have my deep thinking commonplace book, deep thinking journal, whatever you wanna call it, it's functioning as a commonplace for all of my deep thoughts. So here I go into a transcendental anti-theodicy and I'm trying to argue against that. Here's where I argue that we live in a theodrama. So a lot of my thoughts in here turn into my philosophy papers. This is a common place for my deep thoughts, my deep work. I will scribble in here, I'll scratch it up, I'll mark it up, I'll put down propositions, I'll scratch out propositions, I'll make arguments for and against. Oh, I recommend everyone have one of these. This is a workbook, it, it gets all scratched up, it's a saddleback leather, dark coffee brown, and it gets scratched, it gets all jacked up. I had to super glue the binding in here because I to toss it around. This is like my external mind. This is like, this represents my deep, deep thoughts. It's a common place for them and it gets tossed around a lot. So I would get one that's durable like this to be able to handle being brought in and out of your backpack, thrown around, dropped, scratched, a common place for deep thoughts. A second common place of ideas book is a soliloquies book. A soliloquy is just a conversation with yourself. And so this is where I try to figure out who I am, what I believe, what I like, why do I like villains so much? Uh, that's a deep question that I have and I continually ask myself, why do I like Gaston in Beauty and the Beast? Like that's pretty messed up. Why do I want to be a Zen Sunni Mentat from Dune? Why am I obsessed with comparing Thanos and Darkseid? Like what, what benefit is there? Why do I care so much? I want to be a philosopher theologian. Why is that? How come I'm caught somewhere between like a cyberpunk aesthetic and a Hobbiton aesthetic? What's the deal? Who am I? What do I believe? What do I enjoy? Why am I the way that I am? My soliloquies commonplace book is a common place for me to put all of my deep soliloquies to figure out who I am. Socrates said the unexamined life is not worth living. So I'm trying to examine my life here. I also just switched over to a Murdy creative book of soliloquies. These things are so beautiful. This is Americano color. Again, I'm not trying to like hawk any books or anything, but I got to show you because it's so nice. So I'm switching over in here. So I love the graft paper. Uh, I'm a big, big Tron fan. So anything like reminds me of the grid, I like that. I also use the dotted one, but my favorite is the grid because it gives you more lines and it just gives you more freedom to create. So here is an entry on being a Luddite techno philosopher, someone who hates technology, but spends their time philosophizing about it. Here's one on, I exist without my own consent, but so does God. And so it's just some thoughts on existentialism on a theistic level. So there are two commonplace books that I use just for soliloquies. And then lastly, I'll show you my commonplace for YouTube ideas. Now the video that you're watching right now came from this common book of YouTube ideas. It's a Moleskine again, and this is actually commonplace books or compendiums. That was my original title for this video that you're watching. I have it all written up here. You can't read it, but I'm fine with that. Uh, comparing and contrasting the two ways you can use a commonplace book. This is a common place for ideas. I have quotes from YouTubers on the best practices to use, the best thumbnails. I put it all in here so that I can reference this before I start making videos. So it's a, it's a commonplace book. I don't have a whole ton of like academic quotes, but it's a common place for me to put quotes and ideas about my YouTube channel. So then summing it all back up, there are basically two different ways you can keep a commonplace book. One, keeping a commonplace book of quotes, and two, keeping a commonplace book of ideas. In the quotes, I call this a compendium, and you can use this to become a type of person that you want, a wise person, let's say, or you can use it as a reference when you're public speaking. The second way, a commonplace of ideas, you can also put quotes in here, but this is for your ideas. You think in here, and you can give different topics to each different commonplace book in order to compartmentalize your thoughts and keep them structured. Now, maybe you don't like compartmentalizing your life as much as I do, and you just wanna keep one, that's fine. Use one book and keep it all in there. That's how I started this journey. I think you're gonna end up like me. So I wanna hear from you guys. Do you like one of these options more than the other? You tell me in the comments. I think I'll do a video on each one of the commonplace books that I've mentioned here so far. But let me know, what else do you guys wanna see? Leave a comment, leave a like. I wanna hear from you guys.